Hi, welcome. So to make this scrap yarn, you are basically going to need some DK weight scrap yarn, a tiny bit of toy stuffing, scissors, a yarn needle, and a four millimeter crochet hook. You can go big or small with the hook according to your own preference. The bigger the hook is, the bigger the end product is going to be, and the smaller the hook is, the smaller the end product is going to be. I consider this to be a beginner friendly pattern, but it really does depend on uh, how, what your cro crocheting experience is, because it is basically um, a single crochet pattern and we do use a little bit of double crochet and other stitches in it but they are the basic stitches of crochet so it really does depend on um, how experienced of a crochet you are okay so I'm going to start off with a magic circle and if you have problems with the magic circle you can always use the chain 4 option so into the magic circle for round number one we are going to make six single crochets so one two three four five and six then you're going to close your circle like so and we are going to make a slip stitch into the first single crochet we made then we're going to chain up one and for the second round as well we are going to make one single crochet in each stitch so one two three four, five, and six. Again, we are going to make a slip stitch into the first single crochet we made. Like so. So round number one and round number two was six single crochets in each stitch around. Round number three is going to be an increase round. That means that we are going to put two single crochets in each of the six single crochets from the previous round. So two single crochets in the first one, two in the second one, and then so on and so forth. So at the end of round number three, we are going to have a total of 12 single crochets. Okay. At the end of round number three, we are going to make a slip stitch into the first chain we made now for round number four is where we are going to make our ears so we are going to chain up one make one single crochet into the first stitch one single crochet into the second stitch then we are going to slip stitch into the front loop of the next stitch just the front loop slip stitch into the front loop and make four double crochets here so one two three and four and then we are going to make a slip stitch into the same space We've made the first year of a mouse. Now working in both loops again, we are going to make one single crochet into the next stitch, one into the next one, 
then one into the next one. So between the two ears, we are going to have three single crochets. Into the next one, again, we are going to slip stitch into the front loop only. And then we are going to make four single crochets. So one, sorry, four double crochets. One, two, three, and four. And then we are going to make a slip stitch into the same space again. Okay, so after this we are going to place one single crochet in each stitch all the way to the end. So it's going to be one, two, three, four, and five. So at the end of round number four, again, we have a total of 12 single crochets. For round number five, we are going to chain up one, and this is going to be an increase round. So we are going to place one single crochet into the first stitch, and two in the next one. Now working in the back loop of the stitch we had placed, we had made our ear, we're going to work in the back loop of that stitch and make one single crochet in the back loop of that stitch. And two single crochets into the very next stitch. So basically we are making an increase in every second stitch so that at the end of this round we have a total of 18 single crochets. Now this one is going to be a little fiddly. So you will have to place your hook right in the next stitch like so and place two single crochets here. One single crochet into the next one, two single crochets into the next one. Again, we have reached the second year, so we are going to work in the back loop and place one single crochet in the back loop only. Like so. And then into the very next stitch, we are going to place two single crochets again. If you have trouble going in this stitch, what you can do is place your hook in that stitch once to make a little visible, like so. Then you go back to your yarn and place two single crochets in the stitch we put our hook in initially. one and two one single crochet in the next one two single crochets into the next one one in the next one and two in the next one so at the end of this round which happens to be round number five we have a total of 18 single crochets and this is what our mouse looks like so far. Now what we're going to do is that for the next three rounds, that is six, seven, and eight, we are going to make one single crochet in each stitch around for all three rounds. So one, two, three, four, five, Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, 
14, 15, 16, 17, and 18. So for the next two rounds as well, we are going to repeat the same thing. We are going to pay, place one single crochet in each stitch around. So finish your round six, seven, and eight, and I will meet you at the end of round number eight, and we'll start round number nine together. Okay, so I've reached the end of round number eight, and I'm going to end this round with a slip stitch. Now for round number nine, we are going to chain up one, and we are going to start decreasing in every second stitch. So we are going to place one single crochet into the first one, and then we are going to make an invisible decrease in the next two stitches. That means we are going to hold up the front loop, take your hook through the front loop of both the stitches, yarn over, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through both the loops. So this is our going to be this is going to be a repeat for this round, decreasing in every second stitch. So at the end of this round, we will be left with a total of 12 stitches. one single crochet, decrease, and one single crochets, and then the last is going to be a decrease. Now you're going to slip stitch, and at this point I would suggest that you stuff your mouse a little. Don't overstuff it, but don't understuff it as well. Now the next, next round is going to be our last round and in the last round we will also make the tail of our mouse. So I think I can go on with a tiny bit more, if not a lot. Okay, that is it. Okay. So for the last round, we are going to make a decrease. We are going to make six decreases, basically. But you're going to chain up one, make the first decrease. Oops. Okay, so make the first decrease. Make the second one. the third one the fourth and the fifth then you are going to chain up eight so one two three four five six seven and eight and from the second stitch you're going to start slip stitching all the way down your chain and once you are done slip stitching in the last chain you are also going to slip stitch into your stitch where you made the last decrease like so there you go then we are going to make the very last decrease slip stitch into the first stitch and you're going to cut your yarn from 
across the loop. Now you're going to thread your needle and you are going to sew that small little hole at the back of your mouse. Okay. Now you're going to go in and out of the stitches. In, out from the next one. In, out from the next one. And then you're going to pull on your yarn and close the hole. And then obviously you're going to tie it off and everything, but do it however you think you're comfortable doing it. Okay, so like so, go in and out a few more times and then cut your yarn off. Okay. Now this is what your mouse looks like so far. I love this cute little tail. Now, if you want to give your mouse some eyes, take a little bit of black yarn okay so to me make, make the eyes we are going to make them right in front of the ears okay so you can go in from any stitch you like from the bottom and bring your needle out from where you want your eyes to be I'm going to do it one more time just go through any stitch bring your needle out from where you want your eye to be and leave a little tail behind here hold on it now the eyes are going to be just one stitch across so take your needle in the other stitch wherever you want your eye to end and take it out from the next one where you want your other eye to be go through that stitch and take it out from the same stitch at the bottom like so and tie a knot This is how I do it. If you don't like knots in your work, that's perfectly all right. You don't have to do it. But that's, I feel it makes my work more secure. Now we have this little tiny black dot here. I'm going to go in and push this down. Okay, your tiny little friend is ready. So if you've liked this video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you're new here and like what you see, please subscribe to my channel and hit the bell icon. And I am going to try to be more regular now. I know I've said this before, but life happens. So in the meantime, make your little mouse, make yourself some tiny little friends and enjoy. Bye.